My name is Dasha Pierce and I'm a surreal fine art photographer based in Helsinki, Finland. I originally come from Russia, but now I live here. I've been doing photography for roughly 10 years now and um, I was a hobbyist in the very beginning and uh, I, 10 years ago, I had a regular office job. I was a marketing and communications manager uh, working in an IT company and photography was just my hobby. Uh, after a while I became more and more serious about it uh, and my first experience in photography was just taking basically travel pictures of the, t of the city where I moved to, the, which was St. Petersburg. And later on I did, tried different types of photography. There was um, family wedding, interior product photography and uh, in parallel with that, I also discovered fine art photography, which actually was the most interesting type for me. So I shoot surreal fine art uh, or conceptual photography. Uh, this is a, a very unusual type if we compare it to regular wedding or family or interior photos. I do work with teams. Often I sometimes collaborate with people and they create props for my shoots. But if I do everything myself, I go with the simplest, easiest props. And usually that's origami birds, for example, or not just birds, but different types of origami that I can easily make myself. And are, they are not as uh, expensive so that everything is done on a very low budget. And it includes finding the location, finding the right model for the shoot, for this uh, particular image, finding the right colors, the right, um, as well, team, like makeup artist or maybe a stylist, if I work with a stylist. Of course, finding the right props and uh, the wardrobe for uh, my model, what she will be wearing. So. It takes anywhere from, again, a week to a couple of months. My ideas, they come from everywhere, but mostly from my head. <laughs> and um, I draw inspiration from life around me, from nature, from uh, works of other people, and particularly I love fine art. I also get inspired by movies, by certain style of movies. For example, I love Wes Anderson. And um, recently I began to be inspired by music. When I turn on the music and try to be still and do nothing, I my mind just, uh, let's say, goes on like mind walks and uh, images that just appear in my head. So this is how it comes. So I'm uh, very much interested in human psychology and that's why I try to reflect that in my work and all of my images, they somehow cover psychological concepts and namely relationships between people or maybe some psychological states of mind that many of people like many of us go through in different stages of life and uh, basically this what uh, gives me, me most of my ideas sometimes i experiment uh, with working with people because I do work a lot uh, with uh, other professionals, other creative professionals like makeup artists or stylists or models as well, sometimes with decorators or florists or even bakers. And uh, I truly enjoy collaborating with people because when we work together, we both learn from each other and uh, our creative energies combine and that's an amazing feeling. So one of such experiments was a collaboration with a stylist, her name is Yenny Yurinen, and first uh, we decided to just try to work together. It was, uh, we met on Instagram, then met in a cafe, decided to do something which interested us both. 
like from the first moments of working together we realized that it felt really really good and that there was this synergy and that we understood each other from i don't know this first word and after we completed the first shoot we decided to of course uh, well maybe not of course but to create many many more and uh, turn one shoot which was just a random experiment we decided to turn it into a whole project into a whole series and that i think was one of the most recent and positive experiments for me yes i do teach photography fine art photography surreal fine art and not just photography i wouldn't say that i currently teach photography because i don't teach people technical stuff i believe that that's totally possible to learn somewhere else and there are so many people who uh, do technical photography courses and workshops and whatnot but i am more interested in teaching people how to find their authentic stories messages that they want to put out in the world and create images that will feel good for them first of all because this is the problem right now for many people they want to create something that's original that's that looks different that stands out yet they're trying to do that by consciously or unconsciously copying other people and mainly photographers and uh, I try to give people tools to understand uh, that they don't need to copy other people. They can uh, look inside themselves and find their own style and their own message inside themselves first and then combine that with all their uh, backgrounds, all the visual preferences that they have and create this unique work that they like all of us are wanting to create so that's what I teach and this is one of my uh, core passions so uh, I do create art and I also love explaining how this whole thing works to other people and I get a lot of inspiration from that as well and actually yesterday I had a conversation with my photographer friend and we discussed uh, different opportunities for photographers in this current situation. And I was trying to imagine myself doing, let's say, uh, couples photography or a product photography again, and or interior photography, and I couldn't anymore. I, I, I just feel really, really bad and it's even like a physical feeling. So I think that I found my thing in my direction and I will be going only in that direction. <laughs>